Guess what guys? Two things you might be thinking. Hey, she just jumped on her bed. And it's not shaking. Guess what? I've upgraded. I've got a tripod now. Oh yeah. Guess who's not going to have shaky cam? Guess who can now do this? <laughs> oh yeah. You're not shaking, are you? You're not shaking, but my bed is. Oh yeah, oh yeah, tripod. Other thing I thought I'd try out is film in the daytime. Or rather, film in the tiny bit of daytime we get at this time of year. Yay. Sorry, now that's all out of the way, I'll continue. What's my video on about today? My video is on why I should never do things ironically. You may be asking, what's wrong with doing things ironically? Well, for me, there is a lot of problems. I have a very addictive personality, so if I start doing something ironically, it'll then become unironic, and then I'll do it as a habit and for real life. For example, you think my two little pip old beans? It's probably kept for YouTube. No, it isn't. I have to say Toodle Pip to people when leaving. Do you know why? Do you know why? I started doing it to take the mick out of my dad. Because my dad, on one occasion, said Toodle Pip. And I thought, <laughs> yeah. 1950s guy out here now, born in the 1950s, we can tell. Oh yes, I used to do Latin and play cricket at school and it was an all boys school and yes, of course I say toodle pip. That's how it started. I started saying toodle pip ironically. What else has my dad inspired which I have started doing and I did it at first as a joke to take the mick out of him, but now do it in my everyday life. Gosh! Yes, my dad is one of these people who says gosh when he drops something or, I don't know, gets a paper cut or something like that. So I decided I'd joke about that and go gosh too. Yeah, now I do it every time. Like, I wake up in the morning and if I'm not feeling too great, or I've had a long night, bad insomnia, whatever, I wake up and go, oh gosh, completely unironically. Yeah, I, I, I can't do these things as jokes anymore. What else? Now then, I've mentioned Sherlock fondly in the past. I've started calling my mum Mother Mine. Mother Mine! Mother Mine! She flipping hates it. She like go, every single time I call her Mother Mine, she's like, please just don't do it. And that's the reason why I started it. I heard it mentioned on Sherlock, looked over to my mum and said, how would you feel if I started calling you Mother Mine? And she basically acted disgusted and went, no, please don't, I beg you not to. So, guess who decided to start doing it as a joke? This person did. It's now no longer a joke, it's my mum's nickname. And that's something she's just going to have to deal with. I must confess, it isn't just words that... I can't stop saying when I start doing them. It's also actions. For instance, I have no idea why in my first ever YouTube video I started thinking about doing this, but it's now something I can't stop doing. Another thing, inspired by, guess what, Sherlock yet again is steepling my hands like so. I do this completely unironically.
ironically, I will be sat in my lessons at college going, yes, mmm, indeed, I am now plotting world domination, and I find myself Often in the living room sitting like this. Now then that's not a normal position unless you're L from Death Note. Of course I started doing that. Yeah, I did that to start with, ironically, because L did it. Genius. Why? Why? Why do I do these things? Another thing that I started saying, that you will see is a habit of mine, is the word likewise. Now then, I can't give an example at how the word likewise would come up in a conversation. And the reason why is because it shouldn't happen very often. But somehow, I managed to find my way to say it on a regular basis. And... The reason why I do that is all thanks to Would I Lie To You and, in particular, the comedian David Mitchell. I literally heard him say the word likewise once when speaking to the comedian Lee Mack on this TV show and now I can't stop saying it. I have to say it. Likewise. 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 Again, this started off as a little bit of a joke. I was like, hey, the way he presented that word was so cool. And yes, David Mitchell is cool. If you don't agree with me, I don't care. He's cool in my eyes and you are all haters if you don't agree with me. Now then, most people, if they see something that's truly amazing or they think it's ridiculous or we'll say the words oh my god and I used to be one of those people who goes oh my god that's ridiculous or oh my god how could she have done that I no longer say that <laughs> and the reason why is incredibly sad I started ironically saying this phrase because I did classics at A-level last year. Now then, <laughs> I started saying, by Zeus! Reading ancient literature caused me to start saying, by Zeus, in everyday life. As a thing. Over, oh my god. Yes, I actually do that. I'm not joking there. Final thing I can think of off the top of my head for this video is how I answer the telephone. Now then, I don't like speaking on the phone in general. I don't like disembodied voices talking to me about how their day went and things like that. No. It creeps me out and I don't like it. But, if on a rare occasion you should call me and I should actually pick up the phone, you will hear me reply to the phone call with one of two things. One I have no explanation for. And one, I can blame on Big Bang Theory. <laughs> Again, living up to my geek stereotype. I'll start off with a Big Bang Theory one. I learnt that originally when answering the phone, you say, Ahoy! Yes, I say Ahoy when picking up the telephone because it's a little factoid from Big Bang Theory. And I thought, hey, that's kind of neat. I might start doing that. And I did. And I can't stop. It's an addiction. Help me. 
be over one? I have no idea why. Again, this one I have no explanation for. And that is starting a conversation over the phone with the word buongiorno. Now then, I love the Italian language. I love Italy. Italy is a beautiful place and, in fact, instead of having a birthday party, I wanted to go to Italy for my 18th birthday and that's kind of what I did. But that's slightly irrelevant. So why I started picking up the phone and going, buongiorno? I have no idea. And actually, I'm now thinking about it, I quite often end phone calls with Alvidezen for some reason. So I've I've gone over to German for some reason. I start off Italian and end German and again, why not? Why do I do that? I don't know, there's probably some psychological reason. I find both words really pretty. So I use them, unironically, over phone calls. Well, whatever the reason may be, don't ask me to start saying something ironically or if you see me starting to say things ironically, try and stop me as soon as possible because it doesn't take long for it to become a habit of mine. So that's the end of my videos, peeps. Toodle pip old beans.